Hello everyone, welcome to Engineer. In this video, we'll be doing a numerical related to capacity of balancing reservoir. And this is the third numerical in this um, numerical series of capacity of balancing reservoir. Let's see the question. The water demand of a town is 2160 meter cube per day. Same, right? The water demand is to be made through pumping from a tube well. So here is a tube well. Right. Let's say this is a tube well. This part. The tentative pumping period is 4 to 10 hours in the morning and 16 to 22 hours in the evening. A right. pumping period is given 4 to 10 and 16 to 22. The water is supplied to the consumers from the reservoir by continuous system. Here is the reservoir and water is supplied by continuous system to the consumers, right? This is the distribution system, consumers, right? So, if this is the reservoir and this is the uh, tube well, now, the pumping period to the reservoir is given as 4 to 10 and then 16 to 22. So, here 6 hours and here 6 hours, right? Total 12 hours. Now, here this system is continuous. Here the system is continuous system. Now, here is continuous and here is intermittent only. To allow us, here is 24 hours. Now, we need to calculate the capacity of balancing reservoir. So, water consumption pattern for the uh, this particular continuous system is based on the water consumption percentage and given as here, right? And for this, we need to use time period. So now, for this particular uh, place, if we calculate the uh, discharge for a meter cube per hour, demand per meter cube per hour, it will be 2160 divided by 12, right? There is only 12 hours of pumping, right? So meter cube per hour. So 2160 divided by 12, 2160 divided by 12, it will be 180 meter cube per hour right so here we divide by the pumping period always or supply period according to the need right so here in this intermediate system the uh, the demand is 180 meter cube per hour and uh, here in the continuous system it will be percent uh, water consumption percentage of total right total is total demand is 2160 meter cube per day now let's go here in the table, let's bring it a little higher, here, okay. Now, the time period is 5 to 7, 25, 30, 15, 20 and then, right? So, if you need to calculate this demand, we need to calculate by using the percent base of consumption, right? Here, for the 0 0.25 percent, it will be so 0 0.25 into 2160, right? 0 0.25 into 2160. You need to calculate this. So it will be 550, sorry, 540. Here it will be a 0 0.30 into 2160. It will be a 648. And here 15% of 2160. 0 0.15 into 2160. It will be 324. Here it will be 20% of 2160, it will be 432. And here, 216, right? So, these are the demand. 540. 540, sorry. 5, 540, 648, and uh, 324, and uh, 432, and 216. 432 and 216, right? And it will add up to 2. So, what is the total? 2160. It will add up to 2160 meter cube. Now, for the supply part, it will be 180 into 180 into time, right? It will be 180 into time. So, what is the time? This is the time, right? This is the time. So, we need to calculate according to this time for this supply part. So, 180 into T, 180 into 2 is 360, right? So, here is 360. So, 180 into, into 3 is 540. So, here is 540. 180 into 1 is 180. 180 into 2 is 360. And 180 into 4 is 7. 
20, right? So if we add up these all value, it will also be 2160, right? Now, supply is when, surplus is when, supply is greater than demand, right? And deficit is when, demand is greater than supply. Now, let's calculate surplus. It will be uh, some deficit. First one is uh, deficit because demand is greater than 540 minus 360, right? So it will be 180. And here is nothing. Again, 648 minus 540. Here it will be 18108, right? It will be also deficit 108, right? And another demand again, demand is greater 324 minus 180. It will be 144. 144 year and now again demand is greater in next uh, row also 320 minus 360 it will be 72 right and the last one there is surplus 216 720 minus 216 it will be 504 so if the if the if the um, pattern of deficit and surplus is like this right and there is every value there is a deficit except one then the answer will be particular value because these and these all values will add together you don't need to uh, sum all of this value so we need to find maximum deficit value right so these will be equal to this because there should be uh, there is equal demand and equal supply so if you also add uh, 180 108 140.72 you will get what 504 so our capacity will be capacity will be the maximum deficit value, right? So 180 plus 108 plus 144 plus 72. Maximum deficit will be when we add off these consecutive values that gives us maximum deficit. 180 plus 108 plus 144 plus 70 that will be 504 as meter cube. Now if we calculate these um, this from the another method if you see here so let's do this demand and uh, let's do write this demand value in another table now if we find the cumulative demand value we need to add cumulative value right 540 here is 540 and Next is 540 plus 648, it will be 1188. And next is plus 324, it will be 151512. And again, we at 432, it will be 1944. And again, if we at 216, it will be 2160. And for the uh, community supply part, if we at the first one is 360 itself, right? If we hit 360 plus 540, it would be 900. And for another, if we hit 180, 180, it will be 1080. And if we hit 360, it will be 1440. And if we hit 720, it will be 2160. Now we need to find the cumulative surplus and cumulative deficit by subtracting these and this table, right? If cumulative demand is greater, we write in cumulative deficit column. And if cumulative supply is more, we write in cumulative surplus value. Now let's subtract 540 minus 360, right? It will be 180 here because demand is greater. Cumulative demand is greater. Another 1188 minus 900, it will be 288, right? Here, 288. There is nothing, here is nothing. 1512 minus 1080, it will be 432. And another 1944 minus 1440, it will be 504. And last one is there is no cumulative surplus or no cumulative deficit, right? So we need to find the capacity. Capacity equals to so capacity is equal to maximum cumulative surplus plus maximum cumulative. Deficit minus total supply plus total demand. So in this case also there is equal to uh, equal uh, demand and supply. So we may or may not write this right. So let's erase this for this particular question. So now 
maximum surplus is zero and maximum deficit is 504 right so our answer will be 504 meter cube so in the previous uh, method it was also 504 right so we have done this uh, particular question in by two methods so you can do the easiest one thank you for watching